50 mates a year. I'm very lucky fortune, you know. And people they give me a back another opportunity. And, and because it's like any athlete, you go a little bump in you in your career and a little slow. A little slow. And very lucky fortune people they give me opportunity and be very grateful and try to ride the best horses in the ground be compete at the high level and it's, it's about opportunity in this case that's the reason you have to be dedicated every single day and you have to be disciplined mm -hmm. I think uh, to me my key to be successful in my life and my career is the discipline you be I'm being work hard I don't take anything for granted. And of course, you gotta go through. I think yeah, that's me, help me to appreciate what you have in the life. And, and which me, I always appreciate. So if you would, if someone would have said to you back then, Javi, in 2023, you're gonna win the Derby, you're gonna win the, the Belmont, you're gonna win the Travers again, the Jack Club Gold Cup, you're gonna throw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. I wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> you would have said they were crazy, bro. That crazy guy. I mean. But, but here you are. Yeah, thank God. And discipline, work hard and dedicated and be good and with people. And little by little, I start to pay back a little bit and see the result and start to pick it up. And I believe in 2021, Travis, they only have a one month. Yeah, in Jersey, right? No, no 22, 22. 22. And then 22, I have a good year, good summer, start to pick it up and, and start win racing. Travis Day, I didn't have any business. So 21, on Travis Day, you had one mile? One mile. The first race, made it special way, did on you, the turf. Did you stay around to watch the Travis? I didn't. You went home? I went home, depressed. Did you watch the race? I did. I watched your races. And you're probably thinking... And lonely and by myself in my house. Just you? Because my family, that's my son, is birthday, August 28th. He had to go back to Long Island. And my family, they went to Long Island. So you were in the home up in Saratoga by yourself watching by the Travis? Myself. And then we depressed as hell. Depressed as hell. What were you thinking when you were watching that race? Um, you know, I think, you know, how tough this game. It, it can take anything for granted. I thought of my, I thought of my race, my career is down. I think I just, you you were old, it was oh yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, I've even talked to my family. I think it's time hard to pick it up in my business. I don't think I'm going to do it again. Um, and, but the big consistent, it's, it, that's a good thing about family. And my wife she support me, my kids support me, my family, father-in-law, my mom, everybody, you know, passing. And I feel great, I feel good. I got it. I know this second shot in my life. And thank God, being consistent, work hard in this day, and ride horses, go out of town, sacrifice a little bit, do a little extra mile, extra mile here, extra mile over there. And lately being paid off little by little 2022, the first day, opening day, win three races. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Now I gotta pick it up a bit. Win out of town, win racing, and have a good 2022 and roll it for 2023. Take and you, and now, the shape you've been in in years? Yeah. I'm being working hard for this and be prepared mentally, body. I'm being working hard and every single day, get on horses, go to the gym. Do all my exercises and be consistent daily, daily, basically daily, and that's what been paid off. Yeah. How and long are you gonna do it? We see. Um, the, my inspiration, my Smith, 58 year old. <laughs> Mike Smith, yeah. And you still do that? And I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard because thank God yeah, you don't have it right now in your mind when you can retire because I feel the best shape I ever have in my my life and doing well right good horses it's all depending on what your body and your business when you put it to your mage angelo if you had to pick one as your favorite ride the derby belmont which one would it be it's can you pick it's, it's a tough question because you know if you, you watch the derby what amazing ride i did it i mean i watch it that's me. I did that. <laughs> I was a perfect, perfect, perfect ride. If you see the bomb, unbelievable. Hard to put both together in the same page. Very hard. 
because that was a perfect ride. If you had to ride to win the Balmo, you had to ride that type of race. Were there any tears after those races? Oh, yeah. Both? One. Derby? Derby. Balmo, it was more enjoy. I think it, there will be more happiness and the sentiment, you know, it's like feelings go through your moment, the hard work it, you go through to, to get to that where you are and been trying for 16 years and be frustration, go through up and down, disappointed people, racing, horses, everything, and then when you got it, those review it go through your minds and everything you've gone through in the last couple of years to finally get to the winter circle the kentucky derby it must have just been a rush of emotion absolutely it's amazing emotion because like i told you in the beginning i've been up and down and something like always be dedicated myself but at the same time you say what did it wrong nothing what did it wrong to to learn to gain my second chance. If I would be as I did something wrong, I made a mistake, I would have said, Javier, you gotta work hard, you gotta earn it, because basically you screwed up. It is something you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to alcohol, you was in drug, or you did something wrong, something bad. A lot of athletes go through in his career. You just work hard every single day. Yeah. Unfortunately, COVID it was the first guy in the to COVID. And even I wasn't sick. You really smell, yeah. If you would you told me you have a cold right now, I don't believe it. Right. I was, that but was me. I was shot. You never felt bad? Never at all. But you were like, it shut you down for a while. Yeah, I was, that day I, I rode three miles, 90 degrees, in Ghost, in, in Holland Beach on this tree, three miles, we plastic just to lose weight, three pounds, and good shape, and shower, I eat. That missed the first part of this, but when you were thinking, you told Tim, you acknowledged you thought about retirement. The idea that you had not won a Kentucky Derby, was that part of the equation to keep running, to keep that riding? Absolutely, that was my biggest goal, to win the Kentucky Derby. That's one of the reasons I didn't give up. Because basically, by the time I've been done everything, I said to, to win the Derby and the Balma. I didn't win the Balma. It, it's, the Balma to me is very, I don't know, it's like, I don't know how to do the right word to say. It's a very sentimental because I grew up, it's my home. I've been living in Garden City for 21 years. And my kids they born in Garden City. They grew up and they went to kindergarten, preschool, elementary school, high school. They, everybody you know we know. And the people, my neighbor, they're so excited every time I ride the bombers. But in that day, really disappointed they didn't win the race. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. Sorry. <laughs> we do again this year. When you saw your colleagues win the Derby, Johnny B win his first, his second, and his third, and Calvin Burrell and prize and he wins his, you know, first and second. Did you think like, why, why can't I get that? I mean, I never say that. That's the first time I can say. I always when he finished the derby every single year, and I always, I took my time to come back. I just don't want to watch enjoy that moment the jockey when they can talk it out he always always say man one day i want to be like that one day I wanna be like that. what was your best you, shot that you did that you thought you did did you win and you did just to bellamy roll 2006. Yeah. You, thought, you thought that was the best shot shot uh, yeah my first first kentucky derby that horse he won by 17 lane and the wood memorial i thought it was a super horse i thought that that's a horse it's the big horse i think i'm coming for some reason, I think that was to finish seven, perfect trip. I like the way it did. And no excuse. Race you want to win. You watch it over and over and over. You never get tired to watch. My son, he's been watching a million times. So I think what, he beat me, the only one. <laughs> what was it like being you, though? Is your, you know, 
couple strikes from the wire, you're going to win, and and then gallop it out. What was that like, being Javier Castellano? Then? Just to run the wire, I just uh, um, and I only went through my mind. I said, "Thank God I did it." I think it, did, it was the the challenge. I tried so many times and, and not ton yet. Yeah, people they say, "Man, you the best." Could you yeah, hear could you the win? crowd? Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes people say... It, it, In that moment, yes. You did. You can't miss it. So powerful. So hundred, more than 100,000 people screaming in that moment. And right in the wire, I felt. You don't feel on the quarter, but turn it for on, even. The 316 pole, no. But the 16 pole, I think, but your adrenaline, your body is too, too hot, and you... Try to win the rain when you win, when I stand up, I hurt. <sighs> For a moment, so thank God I did it. Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl the next day is in Disney World. Enjoy with the family. We done. Celebrate Jeff Ruby. I went to bed at 2 o'clock. I need to get up at 6. Only sleep 4 hours. And then I got to go jump on the airplane to ride the first race in Belmont Park. Because if you don't show up with the first race for somebody else, you the lazy, you irresponsible, you bad guy, you. And somebody's mad at you. And somebody mad at you, and then you close the bridge, and you close the gap, and you close the door, and the people start getting enemy to you, and go against you because you don't ride my horse because you win the Kentucky Derby, you need to be shot. That's the problem in our sport. Where you go now, people know who Bobby or Castellano is. That's what the Derby does. Yeah, you see, that's it. That's a good thing when you win the derby. People, they know who you are. <laughs> Before, they don't know who I am. Hall of Fame, I don't know about that. Four Eclipse Awards. Four Eclipse Awards, won 13 Breeders' Cup. He won 5,000 carats, six travel. But now you're a derby winner. That's all they care about. That's what they care about. And that's fine, right? That's fine, I take it.